This is how to download Wii Link, or also known as Reconnect 24 on your Wii. You will only need any type of computer and an SD card to download this software on your Wii. And without anything else to say, let's get straight into the tutorial. Alright, so once you go to the link in the description, you'll go to this GitHub page and you're gonna go scroll down. And since I use Windows, I'm gonna click on the Wii Link Patcher Windows EXE. Once the software downloads, click on it to open it. Then it will tell you that Windows protected your PC. Click on more info and press 1 anyway. Don't worry, this will not hurt your PC or anything. Once you connect to the server, start off by clicking 1. Now since I live in North America, I'm going to press 1. Now these are all optional if you want to download these, but since I already downloaded these on my Wii, I'm going to press 2. Since we're going to be using a Wii in this video, we're going to be pressing 1. Alright, what I recommend is by pressing 1. So I'm going to just press 1. Alright, and after you do all of that, your apps are going to now download, so just sit back and relax and chill. Alright, now that you finish your downloads, press through to exit the program. Alright, now grab your SD card and insert it into your computer. Alright, open up File Explorer and drag both of the files that have been downloaded into your computer into the SD card. Alright, after you finish everything I told you so far, go and bring your SD card to your Wii. Alright, so now once you go to your Wii, go to the Homebrew channel and choose Start. And then first, you're going to go to the Relink Mail Patcher. Go to the Relink Mail Patcher, press on it, and then go to the Load button and press Load. Now this should work for you, but because I already patched it, it didn't work for me. So once it patches it successfully, press the Home button to exit the app. Then head over to the Mod Me Edition, press on it and press Load. And once your app loads in, press A to start, and it should detect the Wii SD slot. And you'll see all these apps here that you'll need to install in order for these to work. So just click on one, and then click on it again to install the WAD. And you're going to have to do this for every one of the WADs you have in your SD card. Alright, once you have installed all of the wads, press B and press B again and press the home button to exit the app. Once you have completed everything I told you to do in the homebrew channel, press the home button and go all the way down until you see exit the system menu and press it. And the last part of this video is setting up the DNS connection. First, you want to go to the Wii options, go to Wii settings, and keep scrolling to the right until you see internet. Next, click connection settings, click on connection 1 or the connection you use, and click change settings. Once you head over to the auto obtain DNS, press no and go to advanced settings. Here, you'll copy the primary DNS and the secondary DNS. This is recommended. After you put the DNS down, press confirm, press save, and it will make a connection test and press OK. Once the connection test becomes successful, press no. 
then go back go back again and press on user agreements and press yes this will show you this so press next then you should get this which shows reconnect 24 and relink press i accept so then press ok and that is it. You have finished installing WeLink or also known as Reconnect24 on your Wii. If you want to, this is optional. You can go check if you have Reconnect24 on. And now you can set up everything you like to set up in the forecast channel or the news channel. And that is it. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you really did, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. It would really mean a lot to me. And I'll see you guys around. Peace out, guys.